This is a presentation on how we correct market failures involving externalities. We know that an externality is an effect on a third party which can be positive or negative. Let's start by looking at a negative externality. In this situation, we see clearly that the marginal social cost is always bigger than the marginal private cost. This is an indication of an externality, a negative externality. And the gap between the marginal social cost and the marginal private cost is the measure of the negative externality. So we can see that markets which only recognize private costs and private benefits will reach an equilibrium where the two are equal at Q0. However, for society to be well off, we need the market to produce less. We need the market to consider the social costs and therefore to reach an equilibrium at Q1. How do we achieve this through the market? Well, we do so by means of a tax. If we are able to put a tax on the product equivalent to the vertical distance represented by this arrowhead, then the marginal private cost will be increased to reflect the marginal social cost. So producers will then want to produce less and the market will reach an equilibrium at Q1. So this shows that by putting a tax on the product, we can actually increase the marginal private cost to make it look more like the marginal social cost and to ensure that the equilibrium of the market is reached at a lower quantity. This is how we use taxes to correct market failures arising from negative externalities. Now let's turn to a positive externality. Imagine a situation where, as we see from this diagram, the marginal social benefit is greater than the marginal private benefit. The difference between the two represents the positive externality. Because the market does not recognize the positive externality, it only looks at private costs and private benefits and reaches its equilibrium at Q0. However, for the market, for society to be best off, we need the market to produce more of this good and reach an equilibrium at Q1. How do we achieve this? Well, we do so in the opposite way to what we did with negative externalities. Here, we want to reduce the marginal private cost to make it lower. And if we succeed in making the marginal private cost lower, the marginal private cost will reach an equilibrium with the marginal private benefit at Q1. How do we do this? Well, we do this with the opposite of a tax. We put a subsidy on the product equal to this vertical distance here. Thereby, we reduce the marginal private cost and cause it to intersect with the marginal private benefit at Q1. This is how we use subsidies to correct market failures arising from positive externalities.